So uh, this story is pretty much a you know list of stories that's happened since last October to the first year I was here in Tucson back in '08. So the last time I seen her was late October, and I found out she has two children. I mean, we dated for you know a year and a half, sort of. Like on and off, but you know. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> so the last time I seen her was on the bus, and you know, I don't know the relevance to that. <laughs> So going back <laughs> to October, uh, it was during the time I was living in the park, and uh, I actually met this man. He was um, black, probably five five. He had very thick glasses, gray hair, and you know he told me a story about how he lost his wife. You know what he told me was that his wife died, but eventually he found out that he was an alcoholic. I mean I should have figured that out when he was, you know stick in alcohol. Uh, uh, another story, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, another story is uh, one time I was actually on the bus with me and my brother, and eventually we actually met this guy who uh, was going the same route as us. He eventually got off the stop on 22nd and Alfred on to go inside the fries, and he eventually robbed the place with the whole entire, you know, thing of uh, groceries. <laughs> he eventually got caught, but they let him have, you know, the food. <laughs> uh, another story... <laughs> another story, uh, I was playing basketball one day at the school right behind my house, and I met this uh, black guy who used to go to my school. Well, yeah, he graduated from my school, and he was a part of the championship team. team. Um, he had a scholarship to Las Vegas where he ended up getting screwed over by his, um, you know, ex-wife who had his baby. And uh, <laughs> um, it, her parents were racist and, uh, you know, they eventually didn't accept him and, you know, took his money. Took his money. <laughs> but, um, you know, he didn't talk to his daughter for years and he still hasn't talked to her probably but he's still close with his son. So going back to another story. <laughs> I actually uh, met this old lady once. <laughs> um, it was on 22nd Street. She was like the sweetest old lady I ever met. And she offered me a donut, but I said no. Um, a story with Enrique. Uh, I don't know, what's the story? <laughs> So, uh, this one <laughs> so this one time at band camp, uh, <laughs> uh, me and Enrique, um, well, me and Enrique and Ashley, this time, well, um, me, Ashley, and Enrique and our friend Danny were in the car one time, and uh, <laughs> we're coming from uh, the JV Wise uh, Youth Center, and no, 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 no. <laughs> and so, I was like very awkward. Because, uh, because they took their shirts off. And they're like, oh, no, 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 no